coming together today to promote cleaner water in Tampa Bay. And tonight, Mary O'Connell on what they did that's really supposed to breathe new life into one of Florida's most popular coastal areas. With that, the first step in an ongoing project to help keep local waterways clean and healthy. The water is our economy. Here at Johns Pass, business owners like Captain Dylan Hubbard with Hubbard's Marina are passionate about the cause. So this afternoon, in partnership with several groups, they installed these artificial reefs. As we develop our shorelines, we harden the shorelines by creating seawalls and by removing mangrove shorelines that were once lining our shores. And then also with the recent outbreaks of red tide and all the pollutants that have been going into the water as of late, we've seen a huge decrease in our, our natural grass beds. Over time, Hubbard explains this gets caked with grasses, barnacles, oysters, and small corals that all promote filtration. He tells me their goal is to have every dock have these artificial reef structures underneath, promoting softened shorelines, filtering more water, and keeping the waterway clear. That way, if we do have a red tide outbreak, or we do have some pollutants that enter the waterways, these filtration systems will then naturally clean those systems up. And hopefully, if we do have a red tide, it wouldn't last as long, wouldn't be as concentrated. Hubbard hopes this is just the first of many installs, while also looking for more places around the area to install more reefs. It's a great way to clean millions of gallons of water uh, per month and help keep our waterways clear and promote uh, a better water quality. At Johns Pass, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.